Mr. Speaker, I rise today to speak out against President Trump's Muslim ban, an executive order that emboldens our enemies, undermines our alliances, and offends our American values. This ban has, among other things, blocked visas for interpreters from the Middle East, people who risk their lives to save American lives. When I was deployed to Afghanistan as an intelligence officer, I worked with many interpreters. And at first, I realized they not only provided accurate information, they kept us safe. As time went along and I got to know them, what I came to realize is that they were the ones who were unsafe. They were the ones who were risking their lives to save our lives. And so I, when I get to know them, I would ask them, why are you taking this risk? Why are you doing this? And the reason they gave me was similar to the one my grandfather gave me, an Italian immigrant grandfather, as to why he came here to America back in 1921. And that is, they came here to give their children a better life. Mr. Speaker, to me, that is the definition of the American dream. President Trump's executive order not only makes us unsafe, it is against our fundamental values. If people are willing to take risks to live the American dream, we don't stop them. We welcome them, and that is why my Gentleman's family time is, is here. That is why well, I am here. Gentleman's Thank time you. has expired.